everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. There goes a card. Okay, I got to get it. Hold on one second. Sorry, my necklace is going to fall into the microphone, but I want to grab this message. So it's Amazonite, which is a very, very peaceful, calming crystal, at least to my heart it is, <laughs> and it's life purpose. So a lot of you through kind of calming down and going, okay, I, I can't run anymore. They're actually giving me the vision of someone who's been running a marathon. And finally, they're in the middle of nowhere. They're like in the middle of the desert and they just stop and they say, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to keep running. I don't want to keep contriving my life and trying to make it look like it makes sense. I want something more authentic. I want something that my heart is really engaged in. So you hear how people say, oh, when you wake up in the morning, you have to hop out of bed and be really excited for <laughs> whatever your, whatever work you're going to be doing or however you live your life. This is that kind of energy. It's getting on the through line of a peaceful existence where what you choose to do from here on out doesn't involve you running. It doesn't involve you pounding the pavement anymore. It doesn't involve you uh, breaking a sweat. It's more, I'm going to ease into it. I'm going to ease into what my talents and abilities are. Okay. All right. So let's get some more cards. And remember your path is extensive. It's not just career, but you know, how you live your day-to-day -day life. Okay. Black obsidian in the shadow. So in order to do that, you're going to have to admit some truths to yourself. Everybody has a shadow aspect. If anybody says, oh, no, no, I am, I'm only of love and light. Get away from those people. They are off the path. <laughs> okay. I know that sounds harsh, but you know, that's fine. I mean, I'll be on the right side of history when all this plays out. You guys, we're all going to look back and be like, holy cow. I can't believe how many times, you know, I got pulled in by somebody who seems spiritual, but they were really trying to take advantage or whatever. You know, everybody has a shadow aspect. So just be careful with that. You will be contending with yours this month. So as you do that, remain very, very grounded. Don't beat yourself up. Everybody, like I said, has to go through this at some point. Um, some choose to do it day by day. <laughs> Others choose to ignore it until the wheels come off. And that might be for some of you out there watching this video. That might be the kind of thing that happens where um, something comes around and it's right there in your face. It will be very, very tempting to, again, go, oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Or, oh, I can't look at that. So it'll either be denial or guilt or something like that. That's not what this is here for. It's to go, oh, I'm human. Oh, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, I don't have to be under uh, so much pressure to be perfect. Cool. <laughs> you know? Because that is really a part of your life's path and purpose is to experience what it is to be human, to experience the range of emotions. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you're going to cross a line with someone or you're going to, you know, I don't know, do something that you regret. I, I was just given this example in another video, but about a week ago, I literally almost got hit by a teenager in a car. Uh, she was coming out of a turn. I was on the crosswalk and I was like, there's nothing scarier than seeing a car, especially it was a crossover vehicle. So it's set up a little bit higher. Oh my gosh, coming right at me. <laughs> right? And I, I had to jump out of her way. That was the only thing that kept me alive. Um, I jumped back from her and I was like screeching, like, what the, you know, like my arms up <laughs> <laughs> screeching like a harpy. I was like, Wah! you know, doing the whole thing. But I was scared and upset. And she actually uh, paused for a moment and then she hit the gas and kept going. And that made me mad, right? So there was my shadow aspect, right? And I start cursing at her and I was saying all kinds of things. I'm like, ah, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? You know, like all this whole, whole thing. And then I realized, oh, I just said that at a teenager. That probably wasn't nice. And would I step on the gas and get away from somebody who's got their arms flapping and cursing at me? Yeah, I would. I would totally step on the gas and get away from them, okay? So I couldn't blame her for that, but 
<laughs> that was part of my shadow aspect. None of us are perfect. Okay. None of us are perfect. So make sure that <laughs> you're giving yourself a little leeway. And when things do pop up, look at it and admit it to yourself. Okay. All right. So then we have pre-night trust and uh, trust yourself. Okay. Trust yourself, trust your heart. It's not about overthinking. This is what people a lot of times think that they're doing when they're, when they think they're doing spirituality, right? It's like, oh, well, I went through all the motions. It's all good. Now, whatever I think that's the same thing as my intuition and therefore I should follow it. And they're saying, no, 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 no. There's a lot of you who are not following your intuition. You're following your ego. So trust your body to know the difference. And when you stop trying to figure out what the difference is between your ego and your intuition and you relax into it, that's where you could truly trust like, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> before that was me trying to contrive a story around some message that I was getting. This feels right. This feels like I'm in the flow. And that's what we're getting this card with your life, life's path and purpose. Okay. So it may not be defined this month, your path and purpose. People are really, really big on wanting to put a label, right? Put a label on what my path is supposed to be. I'm supposed to be a messenger. I'm supposed to be a healer. That is the old way of doing things. We're not doing that anymore. We're not trying to fit ourselves into a box. Yes. So the more expansive and free flowing you are, the more chance you are going to be to understand your intuition and be on your path is what we're saying. All right. So we, then we have, let me try that again. <laughs> then we have new might healer. All right. So Again, it's a very, very healing time for you. We were just saying, you know, everybody wants to put a label on their life's path of purpose. And then here we go. We have this word healer. Uh, be careful with that. You're more than a healer. Okay. And, and maybe that does define some of you, but we all have healing capabilities and we can all be the healer in our own lives and in other people's lives as well. There is nothing wrong with speaking up when you, you know, I, I just saw a woman in the mail room earlier and her perfume was so lovely and I I was gonna just go past her and not say anything and then I turned around and I was like who would want to hear that they smell lovely so I was like what is that perfume it's really really wonderful and we had this whole conversation and she just got the biggest smile on her face because you know someone gave her a compliment what's the problem we should be doing this more right <laughs> so there's that and that can be very, very healing. So your color card is bronze. Strength in your body. The number is 14. So you might have been feeling like you've been knocked around a little bit. Strength in your body means get in touch with your body. And don't be afraid to be human, right? Again, it goes in, we go backwards, the shadow card. It goes back in with the shadow. Yes, don't be afraid to be in your body to be, I don't have enough hands here. Um, <laughs> don't be afraid to strengthen. This is also your mental body. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Because this might be knocking you around a little bit. And you might have even found your way into spirituality trying to avoid like some sort of psychological issue or thinking that that was going to be your cure. And this is, no, it's okay. It's okay. You can get in touch with your body. You can heal on the mental level as well. And the physical level and the emotional level, you know, that's all a part of being human. That's what some people try to avoid. As I say that all the time, um, they try to avoid that because they think that it's bad, but your shadow aspect, it's there, whether you acknowledge it or not. So why not work with it and get to know it and be a part of your human existence. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.